Welcome back to the beautiful flower field. This doesn't even feel like I'm on the same island. This feels like I'm in a dream. Evan, I don't know why you brought us here, and I still don't know what you're planning, but I won't let Clover be a part of it. Okay, so before I advance forward, so my guess... Because I, I, I don't know how, but I think I'm the sister. And I think Evan figured that out, and that's why he brought us here. The question still is, like, is Evan, is Clover just older than I am, and doesn't look that old? Like, his, his little sister is sick, and he came here to find, like, a cure, but I don't know how old Evan is. Like, he doesn't look... He looks the same age as the flashbacks, which would make me the same age as the toddler in the crib. Wife from the future, like, what the hell's going on? Also, what in God's name is this puzzle? Um, well, I only have two options right now. Go up here.
this. I have no idea... Oh, I almost fucked it up. I have no idea what I just did, but I did it. Alright, next. Alright, so I need that purple to go all the way up there. And then I can jump from there. Music changed. There. That was the last one. I've got the full message. What does it say? Send nudes. You know, when I was a little boy, there was this neighbor kid I played with almost every day. We were almost the same age. He was one year older than me. Lucas. That was his name. We'd always play in the park in my hometown. First thing every morning, Mom would make breakfast, I'd eat it as fast as I could, and head to the park. He was always there waiting for me. It didn't matter how early I got up, Lucas was always first. I remember one time I asked him if he slept there. He always carried this toy plane. I loved that plane. Even though he was a good friend, the bastard never let me touch it. And that pissed me off a little. One day, uh, he's not gonna be there. One day I woke up and after having breakfast as usual, I went to the park, he wasn't there yet. I was happy. I'd finally managed to beat him to the park. I sat down to wait for him, but hours passed and Lucas never showed up. When I got back home, I learned that they had moved. That night, my father heard me crying in my room and came in really worried. I told him what happened. I was really sad, but I was a kid, so eventually I started to get over it. One day, my father brought me a box that had come for me in the mail. I was really confused. It was from Lucas. He sent me a letter apologizing for not being able to say goodbye. He told me he'd miss me and wouldn't forget about me. The plane. Yep. One day I was playing in my dad's office. I stumbled upon the box for the plane. I realized he made the whole thing up. Aww. Good guy dad, but bad guy for not hiding the evidence. 
Actually, that's a good point. How did you know about the plane? I never told him the detail, and I wasn't ever able to ask him. He died from a strange disease. Ooh, the same one you and your sister have, probably. He always said if you want to be happy, make your loved ones happy. That's why he did it. I was too young to understand. Not long after Dad died, Mom left us. Wow. She couldn't get the fear of the disease out of her mind, even though it wasn't contagious. Unfortunately, though, it's hereditary. And as it turns out, Dysus and I both inherited the disease. Nani? You too, Clover? I may have a few weeks left. Then again, I may have a few days before the disease takes its course. Even worse, the disease progresses much more aggressively in women. Nice as my little sister, sooner or later the disease will kill her. This legend, this artifact, was my only hope. What does it say? See for yourself. I'm about to feel bad for that sad nudes joke. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become. He who not abandons our sacred place because only on this land the same man is. Forever endless truth. Eternity. I am translating that the time does not flow in this on this island, which is why the clocks don't work. No, oh, here's the entire passage. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become he who not abandons our sacred place. Because only on this island the same man is forever. Endless true eternity. has Clover been on this island? Maybe that's how I caught up to him in age. He hasn't, uh... He's been on here trying to figure out this mystery. And I caught up to him, and he's, he just lost track of time, maybe? I think I get it. It's the island. The whole island is the artifact. And from what I can tell, the artifact power is limited to those standing on it. That is, while we remain here, we'll be immortal. What a stupid thing. What's the use of an artifact if I can't take it with me? We can just bring Nysus here. Of course, I will. What other choice do I have? But she'll have to live here forever. What kind of life? Will... So, hold on, though. So, time freezes because the clocks don't work. You're immortal. Like, will she just remain a child? Assuming I'm not her. Assuming she is a child somewhere else still. Bringing her here make her forever a child? I like my theory where he's been on here for years, although that means you suck at deciphering these, uh, things, because there's only a handful of them. A prisoner of a deserted island for all eternity. We can find another way. But Neil, would you excuse me for a bit? I need some time to be alone. So that's my theory. My th but, once again, it doesn't really make sense, because... It's not like he had to solve the puzzles, he's just been writing them down. And translating them, and he's been doing that really quickly. So it doesn't make sense that he had, he had been here for years. Nope. Achieve when unlocked. Translating. What did I just do? Control tab. Steam. Tell me. Discover what the message says. Okay. Clover, why didn't you say anything? If only... Such an intoxicating fragrance, don't you think? Huh? The flowers. Am I interrupting something? No, no. Yeah, there's still the mystery on who this dude is. Don't you think they're beautiful? I guess? Who would guess that the nectar is one of the world's most toxic poisons? A drop or two kills an adult in a matter of hours. Was that a threat? Is Clover dead? So gorgeous and so deadly at the same time. From the bottom of my heart, I believe it was made to end us. The divine punishment for destroying our home. Why are you here? It's such a shame, isn't it? Clover's situation. How do you know? Nani? There's something we can do. That voice again. It was you. Upbring isn't behind this, is it? You. 
you're the one who contacted me. Wasn't it fun, though, playing detective C. Dices? I've always felt an inexplicable obsession with mysteries, detective stories, questions without answers. There is something so seductive in them. In real life, however, they're always so dull. They're never like in a video game or a good book. That's why I wanted to really take this to the next level, make it more interesting, you follow? I took the liberty of designing all of this such that you could figure it out yourself. Then eventually discover that the uh, that uh, uh, that every discovery would have been uncovered by you and only by you. Evan, on the other hand, he wanted to make everything so obvious. He wanted you to know everything from the start. Let's just say that's not how I do things. Where's the fun in that? Where's the emotion? He wouldn't understand. Emotions can't be faked. They have to be authentic. They must be lived. I even managed to get someone with the same... Heh. You know what? It doesn't matter. Same what? I'm assuming same name, so I'm not his sister. What are you talking about? What is going on? What is this all about? Oh, come on, Dices. You still have a clue after all the work I've done? You're just going to give up? I thought you were better than that. No one appreciates a good mystery anymore. Traumatic maniac? Alright, I get it. Maybe I didn't give you all the pieces. But I know you wouldn't need them. You're something special. Well, I think this last one will be enough. I've been aware of your observations. Remember your suspicions about the monoliths? Eureka, you were right. The question is why? Our friend Evan adored Clover. And he wanted to leave him with a little present as the final goodbye. One that involved an island capable of doing what the new message said. You follow me? No, I don't. You lost me. Nani! That's trippy. No, no, no. So are you still wondering why you're here? Okay, you can, I, I may have missed a step. I'm confused. Okay, I'm back here now. Is this the right thing? I'm not sure what right even is anymore. There's Evan, or excuse me, Clover. I've been thinking. I, um, I've got to tell you something. I'm listening. My name is not Vanil, it's Dysus. Dysus Amor. What was his last name? Now's not the time for jokes. Just shut up and listen. Ever since I arrived on this island, I can't, I can't with this. It's too much for me. Clover, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Hey, hey. Relax, okay? Everything will be okay. I'm here with you. Tell me what's going on. Why do the worst things ha always happen to the best people? Why? It's always the same. It's so unfair. Well, I like to think the universe has a plan for all of us. Besides, if I hadn't been sick, I would have never known you, right? You idiot, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want my disease to mark me. I didn't want to be treated differently. I wouldn't have treated you differently. Vanille, you're doing it right now. It's just that. It's okay, Vanille, breathe in. What is it that you wanted to tell me? Ever since I arrived on the island, I couldn't get this coincidence out of my head. But, I think I understand everything now. It's not that the island is making us immortal, rather, the island is frozen in time. Yes, that's, that's obvious. I figured that part out. Time is not passing here. What's the difference? You arrived here before me. Time stopped for you the moment you set foot on this island. Yep, so I'm right. I am the sister and I'm older. But why was he on here so long? Figure out easy translations. But it didn't stop for everyone else. Unless they're not easy, and I've been here for years too. <laughs> you left home and came here to save your sister when she was just a baby. But time went on normally for me until I grew up and came here. And that's why we're meeting each other now. I know it's hard to believe. I'm Dysus. You were Dysus. Honey, what are you saying? When I took this job, they gave me a false name. They told me to not reveal the real one. 
until now, and I think it's because they didn't want you to know from the beginning because of how absurd this all sounds. But now that you've figured out what the artifact is, it makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Your name is Dysus Amor, it is. How did you recover? It looks like I was never sick in the first place, Clover. It was just you. When Evan gave you the notebook and sent you here, he stayed and looked after me, didn't he? He was going to look after Dysus while I was here, but that was just a little while. Pretty much a day ago. Yeah. Okay, so... It's... It's the perception of time. I feel like I'm... I feel like we've been here for... What, two days now? We slept twice? But... In the real world... It's been years. No, Clover, it was years ago. Time went by and you never came back. While on the island, we don't feel the passage of time. It doesn't affect us. That's why our watches stop while we're here. Evan must have thought you had died and that you'd never come back. He had no, no other choice but to look after me. Obviously, he thought that it wouldn't last long. Okay, so yeah. I'm, so my initial guess was correct. He... It's the pa even though we've solved these things in like two days our time, it just feels like two days. He thought that sooner or later my time would also come, but seeing how things turned out, it seems that time never came. I imagine that when he realized I wasn't sick, he decided to search a place for me, a family, and he did, he did a good job of it. Until today, I never knew I had a brother. Actually, I never knew where I really came from. After a long time, I'm guessing that he found out how the island works. He assumed you'd still be here, that from your perspective, you had just arrived. Yep. After that, he contacted me, pretending to be up free. He sent me here with the excuse of finding Evan, so that I would meet you. The only restriction... Wait, so then who's the robot guy? The only restriction they gave me was to hide my real name no matter what. I believe it's because they didn't want you to realize it was me from the beginning. First, you needed to figure out how the island worked. Just think about it. It all makes sense that way. Neither of us would have believed any of this if we were told about it from the start. That's why he didn't tell me either. He wanted us to discover it by ourselves. We had to wait for this moment. Are you sure about what you're saying? Can I trust you? Just look at me, Clover. It's me. I, I can't believe it. Dices, Dices, Dices. Are you gonna hug me? Oh, he's crying. Oh god, that choked me up. He's such a nice guy, so seeing him happy made me really happy. <laughs> wow, that was a... That was a weird feeling. Like, emotional, like, right prior to this screen. I was invested in the story, but I wasn't feeling any emotions to it. But he's been such a nice guy this whole game that seeing him happy and crying got me uh, all emotional. Jesus, is it really you? You've been right in front of me all this time. Yeah, like even when she was crying, I didn't feel anything. Yes, Clover, it's me. You've grown so much. Nicest, can I give you a hug? Of course you can, you idiot. Dysus, I was so scared, so afraid of losing you. Ever since we lost mom and dad, I only had you, and I didn't want to lose what I loved the most. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. None of that matters. Now that I know you're fine, because that's what I've always wanted. It still begs the question, who's the other guy? I can't believe how much you've grown. There's like a shot in the dark, he is a robot, that's uh, Vincent, aka Evan. From, uh, in robot form, I don't know. Are you staying healthy? Tell me about your friend's Dysons. Do they take good care of you? Has it really been years? I've got so many questions. i got a big smile on my face right now. What happened to Evan and why did he use a different name with me? It was just a fake name he used to hide from the world. It was all part of his plan. He wanted to surprise us. He did it for us. Well, he managed. Hey, that bastard. I suppose he wasn't that selfish after all. Why are you crying? Aren't you happy to see me get after all these years? I'm just... I'm happy, that's all. Me too. 
I don't ever want this moment to end. Ironic, time is frozen, it won't end. I'm so happy I can- don't you dare. From now on, everything will be better. I guess I'll have to stay here if I don't want my time to come. You'd better visit. And above all that... No, I'm gonna stay here too, aren't I? Whatever, what's the matter? I'm just feeling a little dizzy, don't worry. Whoa, hold on. Clover. Drawn Clover. Oh no, I think I get it. I have like so many theories running around, but my theory... Oh man, if I'm right, that's fucked up. My theory is that the island is frozen in time. He has been here for years. I am his sister. However, completing the puzzles deactivates it. He was just writing all the puzzles down, but I was solving them. So once I did that last puzzle, time is now moving normally. So now his disease is kicking in. I'm guessing. It's shot in the dark. Hey, wake up. What's happening? Get up. Someone help. Pull over. Say something to me, please. I'm gonna be so upset if I'm right. Alright, there's Vincent, aka Evan. Oh, shit! Okay, I was waiting for something to happen. I'm in this, I'm this guy. Where am I? Is this the same island? Mm, you're not from here, are you? Wait a second. The hobo? Uh, I think you're confusing me with someone else. What brings you here, fella? I'd like to ask you about Clover. I've never met, met a boy with such a kind heart. Boy, ever since he knew about my knee, he does the grocery shopping for me. Can you believe it? He sure knows how to make an old man happy. It's a shame he's going through all that. Don't you agree? Stop talking nonsense. I don't get all the young people slang these days. I'm talking about his disease and his remaining days. Is he ill? Didn't you know? He didn't tell anybody, huh? Why does nobody ever tell me anything? Thanks for your time. Okay, so this isn't the island. This is his neighborhood, I'm guessing. Hey, I'm truly sorry, but right now I don't have a... Oh, no, 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 I didn't come for that. I just wanted to ask you about Clover. He's the uh, personification of humility. If there's anything he loves, it's his little sister. Between you and me, he's a better father than a bunch of the folks around here. How long since you knew about... He's telling everybody. He's going through a lethal disease in an advanced state. So you weren't aware? I thought you knew. Why am I telling everybody? Anyway, thanks for your time. The only thing I can think of is... We're gonna wake up in a hospital with all these people. Who's a good boy? Alright, top tier game. There's a dog I can pet. Apollo. Hey, kid. I wanted to ask you if you know a guy named Clover. Oh yeah, he's my friend, you know. One day we were playing Bliss Ball with my friends when he was just walking by. He realized that they had left me out because I wasn't that good. He approached me and said, ignore them, Bliss Ball is for losers. He taught him how to play Spy Master. Ever since, I have won every single one of the Spy Master tournaments at school. I'm sure you beat me too. By any chance, did you know he was sick? It's unlikely he'll get any better. He doesn't have... I'm guessing that I am right about the... I deactivated the, the immortality thing. But, uh... He's not dead, he's dying, but... Evan's telling all of these people, and he's gonna arrange it so all of these people are basically, like, at his side right before he dies. I don't believe you, he would've told me, you're lying, it's a lie, it's a lie, you're a liar. Hey, he's a liar. Hey kid, wait. My question is, when does this take place? Sorry for my grandson. The thing is, 
the news isn't just shocking for us, it's also really devastating. Clover's like a member of our family. I can't imagine why he wouldn't have told us. He didn't want anybody to worry or treat him differently. Yeah. He hasn't been the same since his father died. It hurt us all, but he's had it the worst. He must have really been going through a nightmare. Is there really nothing we can do? If we had money, it would make a difference. According to Clover, there's no treatment. So we'll just have to wait and be with him until... Until... There's always the legend. The legend? Again with that, what's he talking about? Oh, is this how I learned? Okay, so I think this is how I learned about the island. It's an old fairy tale from around here. It's no fairy tale. Where did you get that? I told you it was real. We found it with Cecil in a strange shrine when we were playing in the woods. An old tale about a hidden island holds a secret to eternal life, though nobody has found it and never lived to tell the tale. This legendary notebook, so it is said, reveals its location. Come here. So I'm guessing this is how I learned about it. I'm gonna go confirm it's real. Probably turn on the shrine. And then somehow show this to Evan so Evan goes. Oh wait, no! According to, Ev uh, according to uh, Clover... I kept calling him Evan. According to Clover, he, he gets the notebook from this guy, right? Telling a secret, doesn't that make you special? I'm still his best friend, understand. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get the notebook from this kid and I'm gonna give it to him. I'd like to ask you a favor. Did you find the island for me? I don't want for Clover to leave us. And it may be our last hope. I'd do it myself, but Mom won't let me be outside after 8 o'clock. Leave it to me. Do you really plan on going? It's just a fairy tale. I've got nothing to lose. In that case, I'll lend you my boat. I'll also make up a bag of supplies. That doesn't sound that bad. We'll help you in any way we can. Any friend of Clover's is a friend of ours. Friend, huh? I'll leave immediately. Okay, so maybe not. I thought, I thought this was a... Uh, Present-day real world achievement unlocked. Goodbye, Dices. What? Play as a new character. Oh, because now I'm playing as this guy. So is the game not done yet? Like, I've been recording for 43 minutes. I don't want to make a short uh, time to discover what they say about you is true. Okay, I guess there's going to be one more episode, because I don't want to end it. Actually, we look at the achievement list really quick. How many achievements are there and how many of them feel like story based? Because it's always like zone 1, 2. Uh. Skip a puzzle for the first time, spend more than 15 minutes on a play. <laughs> Discover the truth, find the mysterious. Okay, so it looks like. I think. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. I think we're pretty much at the end. If it throws a puzzle my way, we'll stop. And then we'll do that next time. But... This is the... Whoa, do I have to do everything again? I know where I am. Wait. Yeah. This is the first puzzle. First word, I guess I'll be here for a while. Please don't tell me I have to turn them all on. So I think I am right, he is actually activating them though. Uh, need to turn you off. Boom. Shit. At some point, you need to just fast forward time, right? Wait. I don't remember this one.
Also, I really don't remember this puzzle. I'm gonna go back and watch episode one. <laughs> You know what? We are gonna make this a separate one. Because apparently there's more puzzles to do. I don't remember this one for the life of me. And there's probably gonna be more like narrative cutscene crap stuff. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!